good afternoon. Um, you welcome to another edition of uh, a class. Like we discussed, I think yesterday, we talked about pegging these brackets. And uh, you can see most of the brackets, I just show them, they've been pegged. You see them? You see? Just turn around and show the other ones. They've been pegged. So now, the next thing we need to talk about today is, after pegging those poles, you know I told you, we try as much as possible to get particular height. I have this one here, as if we're having two spare bobbin here. We'll be mounting it to the other part here. We'll put the bobbin attached to the pillar. So we'll have this on a very straight line. While you have the top, this was the step I was talking about. At the end of the day, we'll use HT cable to link the top bracket to this one. Number, the number, if we count from top, number one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, number six, seven, eight. This is six, seven, eight. So we'll link with HT cable. You can come along, let's see. This is um, the back side. Okay, you have them. We're going to loop this part to this other part by the time we're done. We're going to loop them. Let's say if it's this to this, this to this, this to like that, all the way to the top. We we'll have same thing here. Also. Loop them all the way to the top. Then here, you can see, we're going to have our, the digester is going to link up here. When I get to this point, I'll need to show you what we'll do at this very point. By the time we finish the looping for other ends, we're going to have our energizer connected, connected here. So A few moments later. I want to show us the path of the looping. And this is the section most of you are always concerned about. So please come along and let's show, show you this. You will notice each of the ends, that end, just watch that end. Yes, that end. We've looped number one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four, till eight, one, uh, eight to eight. Then also the back here, the same thing there, one to one, two to two, three to three, four to four up to it and the one at the other extreme so this is the last angle here and here also we also have one to one two to two three to three because of this space we don't want uh, the cables the, the the naked lines to touch the fence that's how we're using this HT cable to loop here is uh, insulated so we've come here we want to do our own looping this is the only part not yet touched and this is the eight lines so now number one See this part not loop here. This part is not loop, and this part is not also loop. So this is the eight, and this is the eight. Right here, we're going to start here. This is number eight. Let's say we're starting count. We're counting from number one. One, no, not there, not there. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we need to loop at uh, seven to eight. This is seven to eight. Then right eight to seven. This one go around all the way, returning to this other seven. From this seven, loop your number seven there to number um, number five. My seven, yeah. Yes, yeah, to five. So seven to five. five. Up this way. Yes, those two. So you get a few moments later. This is the final phase of this video. 
Um, I want to take you through this whole part. Now, this is where I said most of our loop will be here. We'll come here shortly. This will place now. We've looped all lines, top to bottom, from one to eight, all to themselves, one to eight. Now this is we'll be having our earth rod. Our earth rod will come from here. This place we will we'll get in that shortly because it might get dark. I may not be able to view that later. So this is the part going to the energizer, and this is the energizer here. The energizer will be here. Here. We'll be having an energizer there, that's the cable, and the side will be there also. And also, um, so this is the part going to the fence. Now, you can notice that the energizer at this very one is not at the edge, it's at, at the center of the, the mid, somewhere like the middle. This, this is the part that I was actually waiting for, and I'll show you what we need to do here. See, it's going to be there, not at the edge. Like this place where it's supposed to be, the usual place. We always have it somewhere like somewhere like this, but it's not here. So now let me show you what we've done here. Okay, come this way. You see, from here, this is we we'll pick this as a starting point. Um, let's say the cable is coming from. Okay, this is starting point number one here. You see this line one. Nothing is on one. So it moves from there all the way to the back. No, you don't need to go to the back. It goes all the way to the back and return. This is the number one here. It gets here. It moves to two. Okay, that's one to two. Two returns from here. From here again, back to the other way. Two gets here. Two from here goes to number. That's number one, two, three, four, five. Two to five, right? From number five, it returns all the way. Five gets here. One, one, two, three, four, five. This is five. Five goes to number four. Number four returns all the way. Comes here to that number four there. Number four there from there. Four goes to two. You can see number two there. It returns all the way to, to this point here. Two from here goes to number one. Number one returns all the way. It gets to that place. And fine, the energizer is not here. So this is where the trick is. The energizer is not here. What do we do? We have, we're going to have the energizer at another end. Now, we've looped our earth, this to this, and there's already connect, connection from the earth to this other side. You see, because of where we placed the energizer, it was very close. Yeah, the, we were placing the earth rod is close to the energizer. This is where the trick is. If I had had my energizer here, it would be easy for, to just connect my number one and my number eight to the energizer. But no. I'm now going to loop this number 8 to number 1. Close it here. I'll close 1 to 8. I'll close it here. Then I will come to this end. Come this way. I'll 1 to 8. I'll, I'll get, have a cable linking both of them. And I'll come here. Where I'll be having the energizer here. I'm going to open up the line 8. And separate it with a spring. Please, can I get a spring there? You can't see this. Okay. I'm going to open this up and separate it with a spring. A few moments later. Okay. Now you notice here I had to separate this part. We will now have to have one of the live cable to this part one. Live out and live return here. Wow. Now we are almost done with our job. Just take a look at it. You will notice we don't have those irregular loops where people just loop parallel looping on the fence, which is wrong for anything that has to do with security. You can see it's just a straight kind of looping, and no looping was done at the middle. You will notice every of those kind of loop is out. And when it has to, it has to, if, if you, if you look at, uh, how aligned they are, love it, not just, uh, ecstasy. You need to talk about, um, a job well done. Well, well, should I say, well terminated. 
yes your connections must be right and that is what electric fence is all about if you have a fence you just have beauty and your connections are wrong you must understand that the number one reason why the client requested for an electric fence is for security and this should be priority just a yellow sign left to be applied here please tell us where you're watching us from so we can bring more content that will benefit you don't forget to also like share this video recommend to friends till we meet again in our next class do have a nice day thanks for watching bye